Good afternoon, everybody on Educated Economist here. So while everybody was listening to Trump talk about beef, I was watching them lumber future prices just rocket. They went up like 15% this week. Uh, started off at 325 per thousand, I believe, on Monday and rocketed all the way up to 367 per thousand in just a matter of five days. Uh, quite significant run. Now, this is pretty typical of, of lumber here over the last year or so. It's been quite volatile, uh, bouncing anywhere from three to 350 up to 400 per thousand. Uh, one of the greatest moves inside of lumber future prices actually occurred. It was the best move in 25 years uh, occurred just recently where we saw a 25% rally inside of the lumber future prices. Um, it went from like 300 just up to almost 400 per thousand in the matter of uh, just a few weeks. It was, uh, it was it was quite dramatic. Um, but what we have seen just recently here in these lumber prices is kind of a sign of things are uh, things taking place inside of the new construction market. Now, for those of you who have been following me on my channel, this is going to sound like a broken record, but for those of you who are new to my channel, I work at a lumber yard and I follow two two building components as kind of an indicator of where we are in the new construction market. I follow half inch CDX and two by four, eight foot standard and better lumber. These are like the base components for building a house. The two by fours being like the skeleton and the half inch CDX being like the skin that goes on the outside of the, of the house before all the doors and windows and everything else goes into it. Now, last year we saw lumber prices really skyrocket up to around 650 per thousand. And this on the retail end really caused the price to go up. We saw a two by four, eight footer selling for $4 and 29 cents a piece now right now we have them at around three dollars and 33 cents a piece but they were down all the way at 289 a piece just a few months ago and we've only just recently seen them tick up to this three dollars and 33 cent mark now future prices went from that 650 per thousand all the way down to two I believe it ran to like 290 per thousand and then now they're right around 267 per thousand and down on the retail end, it had half inch CDX last summer selling at twenty six fifty a sheet, and right now we have them at sixteen ninety nine a sheet. So there's been a dramatic drop inside of the plywood prices as well, um, due to these due to these low lumber, you know, future prices coming out of the lumber lumber markets. Now, Canada had some mill closures take place during this time. Now, when it was at 650 per thousand, mills were pumping out a lot of lumber and there was a lot of building taking place and everybody was making a lot of money. But when it dropped down to 300 per thousand, these mills were like, hey, we're not only not selling a lot of lumber right now, but the price is too low for us to stay operational. And they ended up closing down a bunch of mills up in Canada, up in the BC area. Now here locally, I hadn't heard of any mills shutting down. Now there was one locally that decided that it was going to move out of state because of some of the uh, legal conditions inside of our state making it less favorable to operate here. So they were going to move over to you know move over to Montana or Idaho or something like that. But that wasn't necessarily like a shutting down of the mill due to lack of uh, demand. There was a mill closure that did take place just today. It was announced today, and it's a plywood mill closure coming out of Roseburg. And these guys produce a lot of plywood, and this is what they had to say. After waiting for months for markets to improve, we have reached the point where layoffs is necessary to better match the supply with weakened demand, said Senior Vice President of Operations Jake Elston. Slow housing starts imported plywoods and increased competition from OSB manufacturers are are all driving the imbalance in the market. This is unfortunate but necessary step towards preserving the long-term viability of our plywood business. So if, uh, when he's talking about OSB manufacturers there, that's another type of sheathing. Um, a lot of people consider it a lesser type of sheathing. It's not as good as plywood. It's made up of a bunch of little tiny pieces of uh, wood that are all glued together. Plywood is a bunch of thin sheets that are laminated together, um, making it a little bit stronger, more durable material, especially if you're in a high moisture environment like we are here up in the Pacific Northwest. But uh, yeah, it says right there, slow housing starts. He names that as the number one reason on the list, imported plywoods and increased competition from OSB manufacturers. So we are seeing a slowdown taking place in the housing market, or at least as far as the new construction market taking place in these new building materials, these, these two by fours and half inch CDX. These are a good indicator of where we are and what's going on as far as the supply that is needed in order to build these new homes and if they're shutting down during the time of mass building this is like sorry how should I state this this time of year is the time that the most building is taking place this is where the mass amount of building of the year is happening and they're shutting down 
plywood mills, okay? This is where the demand for plywood would be at its peak, and they're shutting down these mills. Anyway, thought it was a pretty good article, thought that was quite interesting. Uneducated economist, you guys let me know. Uh, I'll leave a link to the uh, article down in the description for you guys.